We'll start with breaking news and we have been warned to brace for severe weather and this afternoon the mayhem has begun with fierce hailstorms pummeling parts of the state. Now this was the scene in Dubbo as ice smashed to the ground just a couple of hours ago and there were similar downpours in Naramai. Now storms are spreading across the state. They're forecast to reach the coast including the greater Sydney area over the next few hours. In fact they are starting to reach southern parts of Sydney. Now Nine News helicopter has been tracking the storm as it moves across the city. We'll be keeping across the situation. We'll let you know exactly where it's impacting and have all the warnings and the updates throughout the afternoon. It was fast and it was furious. A severe thunderstorm pummeled the central tablelands this afternoon, bringing with it hailstones and strong winds. Dubbo was hit first, residents capturing these pictures at about 12.30, many saying they hadn't seen weather like this in years. Bathurst also battered, dark clouds blanketing the city before it was smashed by the wild weather. The Bureau of Meteorology has now issued a warning for the Illawarra and southern Tablelands. It's been a wild end to the week with a storm smashing its way through Sydney. The system roared across our state from the central west to the coast, bringing hail, torrential rain and thousands of lightning strikes. The force of the winds whipping up a dust storm in Villawood. As the wild weather rolled into Sydney, the rain didn't discriminate. From the Blue Mountains to our coastline, the city copping a spring soaking. Cars in Campbelltown waded through a flooded car park. At Castle Ray near Penrith, this car smashed by a tree. It came crashing down in strong winds. Power lines were left dangling, Castle Ray Road closed off and a driver taken to hospital. South of Sydney, Helensburg was hit so hard by hail, the ground was coated in white. Our western suburbs shivered. Temperatures dropped more than 10 degrees in an hour. This is 18 days till summer. The storm cell rolled in from the central west. In Dubbo, the hailstones could be heard indoors and out. Dark clouds gave warning in Bathurst. Before the rain hit so hard, it looked like a waterfall. This is what hit Sydney. The fast-moving storm coming with a warning for large hail and damaging winds. Our reporter Hannah Sinclair is at Waverton for us this evening. And Hannah, this storm was fast and furious. Yes, Georgie, the sun is back out now, though, and the storm has moved offshore. But it caught a lot of people by surprise, given how warm it was during the day and also how quickly that storm hit. There were 3,000 lightning strikes across Sydney and wind gusts of up to 90 kilometres per hour at Port Botany. There was a severe weather warning in place, but that has just been cancelled, Georgie. All right, Hannah, thank you.